Hey, what's up guys, Sermo11 here with my review of Scribblenauts Unlimited for the Nintendo 3DS system. So, before I start the review, I wanted to bring up something uh, from the original Scribblenauts game. There's like a song in the original Scribblenauts game, and I don't know if you um, played it or not, but there's this song. And I'm pretty sure the, the lyrics were something like, Yeah, Davi, did, did you hear that at all? Um, if you played the original game. I don't know, that's just what I heard, but anyways... Uh, I'm normally caught up with this series, but this time I'm not, and I'll try to buy Scribble Knots Unmasked eventually and review that. But anyways, on to the review. This game actually has a story this time. It's not a big story, but the way they presented it, they made it sound like um, a game for children or a classic TV show. And the thing is, um, this game is kind of for kids, but parts of it are kind of hard so I don't know if some kids will be able to solve this because I'm pretty sure a few of the um, a few of the what do they call them um, challenges I don't know a few of the challenges in the game you might have to look up like what word to put in but anyways uh, Max Maxwell who's the main character if you didn't know that he wears like a rooster hat and everything I think his whole family wears hats like that but anyway, his uh, his sister Lily, she narrates the game, and she sounds really, really old, like an adult or something. And aren't the main characters supposed to be kids? I don't know, but th the way her voice was, it, it sounded like a, a grown lady. Anyways, um, Maxwell and Lily are mischievous children, and a prank causes Lily to be frozen in stone. And the only way to save her is for Maxwell to collect the star rights. Now, um, sure, this is a cool plot and everything, but why was he collecting them before? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? So, if you haven't played Scribble Knots before, basically you're presented with a puzzle or a problem that needs to be solved. And it's a good thing they made this game for kids, um, because, wait, what? I said it's a good thing they made this game for kids because it can get really hard. That doesn't make any sense. Um, basically, the game's made for kids, but it can get hard at some times. And um, you, the main character, Maxwell, you have a notebook that you can summon almost anything with. You can also use adjectives, which have been around since the second game. And in the Wii U version of this game, you had um, an object creator and special Nintendo characters that could be used... I think they, um, let me see, they had Link, the the horse from The Legend of Zelda, Mario and Luigi, and they might have had Princess Zelda, uh, I'm not sure on the last one, but I, I'm pretty sure like the first four characters they had those, I know like Link, I think Link had the Master Sword and everything, and I'm not sure why these features weren't in the 3DS version, but I guess there has to be a difference between the two to get people to buy either one. I mean, I bought this one because it was on sale, and I'd rather get the Wii U version to get the full experience. But I don't earn, I don't own a Wii U currently, and plus, it's more, ex it's more money. I mean, um, I, I don't know. I just play handheld games more, but I guess with the Wii U, that might not be a problem. But I've played the Wii U, and I'm not sure if the graphics on the gamepad are that good. But I guess I'll see when I actually get one. But to help you understand the game. Um, let's say a cat is trapped in a tree. What would this will be like the question or the um, the puzzle for you? What would you give a firefighter to help him rescue the cat? And you just get in your notebook. I believe they have a writing feature. I'm not sure if it's in this game, but I know in the second game it could have been the first one. But they had like a writing um, thing where you could write a word. And you know it's not perfect, but if you want to use that to get more of a notebook feel you can just like type in the words and everything and it's kinda odd that they don't I don't think they offer you to um, they don't offer an option to use the control pad to go through the letters because that would be easier but I think you do it all with the stylus I'm, I'm not sure I don't remember um, but things like an axe or a ladder would work to um, rescue this cat the, the way the puzzles are set up most of them well if many of them have more than one answer because if they had one strict answer, that make the game really hard. And it does get hard later on, but 
in the beginning you'll have simple things like this and the game used to have a sandbox mode on the main screen where you can just mess around and summon whatever you wanted and that mode is still in the game but it's in every level plus you can summon a lot a lot of things this time and it, they'll be saved there I think the limit is 60 and I use this feature a lot you know in this game all the problems are in a specific area you don't have the mission sort of mode this time around um, in the past two maybe past three scribble knots games scribble knots super scribble knots and um, scribble knots remix they um, you just go to a level you go to one and then you solve that one and then you go back to the menu and you go to two and it's kinda like that but in this game all the problems are in one area and you just go up to talk to the person or animal or inanimate object that has a problem and you fix it so um, you just go around and help people I don't even think you have to help everyone in the game to unlock each world but I would do it anyway, you know, you want to get your uh, money's worth. Why would you buy a game if you aren't going to do everything? But speaking of doing everything, I didn't do everything in this game. Because this game has some frustrating goals that aren't required, but you still should do them if you want to complete the game. And I recommend doing them during your playthrough. I was going to do them um, after I beat the game, but um, when I found out about them these um, puzzles or whatever they, they're, they're like really small puzzles like really small goals that you have to complete they were uh, too dumb like I, I don't have an example but they were really dumb so a lot of them were just small things and I don't like revisiting a game when nothing has changed so this features in the menu and I don't know if they tell you about it or not but if you do get this game, make sure to go in the menu and see if there are like a list of goals and stuff that you have to do so you can try to do that while you're playing the game. So you can get uh you can 100% it cuz I don't think I 100% of this game. So, yeah. Um there's really not that much to say about this game, you know. There's a lot of cool things that you can summon. You should look those up if you want to have fun um while you're playing it or after you're playing it, I don't know. But I I mostly messed around while I was playing it, I didn't really mess around after I beat, uh, had beaten the game. So you definitely have some fun with this title, and as they do with each game, it it improves on what was already there. So I'm gonna give Scribble Knots Unlimited a nine out of ten. Thank you for watching this review, and tell me what you thought about this game or if you are thinking about buying it. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and subscribe for more videos like this and ones covering other topics. I'm Sermon11, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.